Hello and welcome. Today I would like to show you how easy it is to work on the iPod Mini. Now this is specifically the second generation. You can tell because it has the storage stamped into the back and the click wheel is the same color as the case. I don't, I'm not necessarily, this, this doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. But I'm not gonna fix this, I just wanna show you how easy it is to work on. So, first thing you wanna do, lock, you know, just in case it turns on for whatever reason. Then you're gonna start at the bottom and just use my little pry tool here. Get in between the case and the plastic cap and it just lifts off. Set that to the side. Now this is the hardest part, is this clip. Right here, you can see this is the um, click wheel ribbon cable. You do not want to damage that. So I'm just going to take some tweezers and I'm just going to kind of gently, <laughs> say gently and then I did that. Um, Want to stay as far away from that as you can. There you go. Now to get uh, the click click wheel ribbon off ribbon cable, I'm just going to use these bent tweezers, but you can use whatever. You just want to be very gentle and go back and forth. You don't want to pull just straight up. Just ease it on out because the click wheel connector is directly soldered onto the ribbon cable right there, as you can see. And if you were to um, just pull it straight off, that would damage it. Now, let's say you have a defective click wheel and all you want to do is just change the click wheel out. Well, this is as far as you need to go. You can push down and the click wheel just slides right out. There you go. So, say, I don't have one, but say you had another click wheel, but it was pink or silver or green. Um, but you wanted to keep this original color. You can actually change this click wheel out so it just takes four screws with just a simple Phillips screwdriver. <clears throat> and then this comes off. The click wheel is just attached with this Lego style connector. So the old style click wheel, um, this was original, the 2004 first generation mini was the original click wheel, but you see it's the clicking points are built into the wheel, whereas later generations it's built into the, uh, onto the motherboard, but they did it differently for this one. So there's the center wheel, click wheel, and then or the click, and those are on the outside. And now, if you do the same thing on your your other colored one here, take it apart just like that, then you could take a good click wheel uh, cage here and change it back over with the um, the click wheel that you the color of the case. And anyways, you would just um, Click this back in, it's just a little, like I said, a little Lego style connector. And then put this back on. And then install all the four screws. And then suppose that's all you were doing was just the click wheel. Then you, they see these, these two rails here. You just kind of push down on the click wheel, line this up. Slide it in.
till it seats. And then you just plug it into the um, motherboard and you're good to go. Then you just put those back on. But I wanna show you how to take the whole thing apart, which is really easy. So that covers just a click wheel, but imagine you want, you need a new battery. Just pop the top off. Then there's two screws, Phillips screws, same screwdriver, red and everything. So you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Then you just push and there you go. Now you got the housing separate from the whole, see how simple that was? Now to replace the battery, all you'd have to do, it just unplugs. And if you wanted a new one, you just get a new one and plug it in. If you wanted to replace the hard drive with um, up to 256 gigabytes of solid state storage, it just Lego Connect unpops and then you can change this out. And then uh, the screen, if you need to change the screen out, it just unplugs. Then there's these four little tabs. And the screen comes off. And then the headphone jack is just another little Lego connector. And there you go. So that's it. There's all the main components of an iPod mini second generation. So you've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then if you want to count the screws as separate, 11 and 12, 12 main components. That's all it is that makes this iPod up. And you can replace this, the headphone jack. You can replace the uh, micro drive with a solid state drive. You can replace the battery. You can replace the whole motherboard if you want to. You can replace the housing. You can replace the um, click wheel like I showed you. You can replace everything. And putting it back together is easy as can be. First, say I've got a whole new motherboard. So I, this motherboard goes away and then I bring another one out. First thing you wanna do is take your um, headphone jack, which this is very simple. You just plug it in. And you hear that snap. Now it's plugged in. Now you wanna make sure the um, this is flipped up. This lock is flipped up. Place the screen in there like so. Try not to touch it with your fingertips. Just click it down into place so that it's on the motherboard again. Flip this down. Then um, you take your hard drive or if you've got flash memory at this point Plug it in, make sure it's seated right there. Take your battery, whether it's the old one or I would suggest a new one. It just plugs in, flip that like that. Then you just slide it, you see the rails again. This time we're gonna go behind them. So now we're gonna put it behind the rails like so. You just make sure everything is tucked in. Slide it down so that it seats. Now we're going to take our two screws. And like I said, they're the same. It doesn't matter which way you go. And you want to screw these down. Then you can go ahead and plug your connector in for the scroll wheel. It just pushes straight down, seats right in there. You can take your metal uh, bracket plate and 
if you can see, there are some indentions inside the case. There's four of them. And that's where um, these little tabs seat. So you just kind of start it on this side around the um, headphone jack or the uh, click wheel jack. And be very, very careful. Then we'll put our top plastic piece on. And that just kind of seats back down. Now, if you want to clean it up and put new adhesive on, you can. Now this, as you can tell, there are three little points here, three sets of two points, and this one's missing. Now this one is not broken. It's It wasn't there to begin with because this it's going to go over your click wheel. So then you want to take and um, the part that's missing, you want that to go near the click wheel ribbon cable. And then just kind of seat it down. And there you go. iPods back together. Good as new. So that shows you how easy it is to work on this. This is the easiest iPod that's ever been made to work on. Like I said, there's only 12 pieces, main pieces, including two screws. So really like 11 pieces, if you want to count that as a set. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.